Hello and welcome. My name is Martin Cannard and I'm a Solutions Architect and today I'm going to be showing you how Privileged Session Manager can be leveraged to provide access to your Windows systems. I'm going to walk you through a use case where a user obtains RDP access to a Windows server and show how a session can be monitored in real time as well as subsequently viewed plus how a post-session review can be formally performed and recorded for audit purposes. So in the user interface I'm going to select session request and now I have a list of the accounts of which are available to me. I'm going to select a particular server that I need full IDP access to. In this particular case I'm going to say this is for demo purposes because I have predefined reason codes and I'm going to leave this as a default of two hours to book it out. I'll save changes. I now get the option to connect and also the option to change my resolution. I'm going to be putting it down for this session to fit it on the screen. I click connect. What happens now is an RDP session is now being created between the appliance and the Windows server and an SSH session is now being created between the appliance and my browser. So as you'll see here I now have full RDP access to this machine. We do have control over the user session so we can limit whether or not a user is able to transfer files or copy data from the screen. So it is a completely, um, to all intents and purposes, lockdown environment um, you know, within this browser session. Um, now what I can do also is um, once the uh, session has started, a notification can be sent uh, perhaps to another administrator to inform them um, that uh, you know, another session is taking place. And so uh, they can go in, they can look at the logs, they'll see a session is going on. They can now monitor the session, and this is actually going to open up a, uh, a facsimile of uh, you know, what is currently appearing on the screen. And so, uh, if I uh, now move a mouse around, you know, within my existing session, you'll see here that everything is uh, recorded. And uh, you know, certainly, um, you know, I'm not aware of the fact that I'm actually being monitored. So everything is recorded, you know, within this particular window session. So I'm going to log out of here. and that terminates the session. Um, now it's no longer an active session um, and I'm actually going to go ahead as a user and uh, just say uh, that, you know, that I've, I've expired the session so I finished it. Now you'll be able to see where I can also um, retrospectively go back you know, within the logs and uh, I can actually uh, pull up the list of all of the different uh, logs that have been performed. You'll see here it's uh, the, the top one that's available and uh, I can go in and I can replay the session retrospectively. So um, it's possible to uh, view the session in real time as well as uh, being able to go back. And uh, it, it's a pretty small file size. It's uh, a, a proprietary algorithm for recording the data. And there's uh, a lot of efficiency in terms of uh, you know, its recording capabilities and also uh, data file management options. Um, so what I can do is uh, now I'm going to close this down. Uh, the other thing that I mentioned is that there is also the possibility of going in and retrospectively um, viewing a session, um, you know, and having an approval done. So you will see here that I've got a pending review. Um, this would automatically have been emailed, um, you know, to a group of reviewers. I can go in. Now it's not going to let me actually save any comment until I've gone in and viewed the session itself. So it's going to force me to go in replay the session um, you know so I'm actually sort of doing some due diligence on this once I've looked at the session I'm now capable of going in and saying okay this is approved I'm going to complete my review um, and now that then closes off this session so what we've seen here is we've we've seen the um, instigation of a uh, session, an RDP session to a Windows machine. We've looked at real-time monitoring. and uh, We've also looked at uh, the ability to go back retrospectively um, and uh, you know, look at uh, the, the session in the case of a review for a reviewer and also um, in terms of looking at the logs when we put up the log file. This concludes a short demonstration. Thanks for your time. 